Ilham Omar, very much in the news. Looks like she might have an opponent, but she is relentless in going after Israel. So how much of this is being dictated by her faith? Well, we certainly know that uh, Islam teaches a hatred for Jews and Christians, uh, but a special hatred. I mean, the Quran itself says uh, Allah puts enmity between the Muslims and the Jews. Uh, we know that in the Quran, the non-Muslims are called the worst of all creatures, and that it's a permanent command in Islam upon the entire Muslim community under Sharia for war to be waged against the non-Muslims until Sharia, Islam, is the law of the land on the, in the world. So um, what she's doing is simply doing what she's called to do. I'll take it a step farther for your audience so we're clear. Uh, Al-Qaeda and the Islamic State, formerly known as ISIS, uh, have never misquoted Islamic doctrine in furtherance of their actions. And quite frankly, this is what you get when somebody gets elected to uh, be a member of Congress, you get a seditious traitor. All right, so can a, can a representative Omar, being a Muslim, in favor of Sharia law, ever really be an American? Um, well, the, our system opens uh, our doors to all who would come here who are people of goodwill and who want to uh, adhere to our laws and our legal system. Ilhan Omar is not one of those people. She's incapable of fulfilling her oath of office, and she should be removed from office.